Welcome to the channel. I'm a high school astronomy teacher that is actively using AI products in the classroom. And in this channel, we'll explore how teachers can utilize AI products to enhance their own productivity and add enriched learning experiences for their students. In this episode, I'm going to show how to use ChatGPT to create lesson specific Kahoot questions and then create a Kahoot upload file to import those questions directly into Kahoot. To complete this process, you're going to need the following, a ChatGPT account, which I have the link below, a Kahoot account, link also below, but I probably think you already have that since you clicked this link, and then access to Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Some knowledge of how to upload and move files is needed. To get started, ChatGPT is guided by prompts, which are actual language requests used by the AI to generate text. I've added the prompts we'll use in this in this episode in the description below. You can copy these directly into the ChatGPT text box. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the ChatGPT interface. Over here, you'll see different um, chats that I've had with GPT. It stores them here and I can reload those chats and work on them at a later time. Down here, you have a light mode, dark mode switch, okay, where my face is. You have account information, help, and how to log out of um, ChatGPT. Up here, I have, I'm using ChatGPT 3.5, okay, that's the current free version. Now here in the middle, you probably have a bunch of instructions on how to use ChatGPT and what its limitations are. I don't have those anymore. And down here's the important thing. This is the chat box. This is where we're going to enter in prompts to um, ChatGPT in order to generate the content that we want. So I've already cut and paste my um, um, question right here into the chat box. Write five Kahoot style questions regarding early river civilizations send that off and now using that prompt ChatGPT is going to generate content and as you can see it puts together pretty good questions along that idea you could take these okay and cut and paste them directly into Kahoot but what I want to show you is how we can actually upload the questions all at once and save ourselves a lot of time of tedious cutting and pasting Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Kahoot homepage, and I'm going to show you how to upload those files. So go ahead and log into Kahoot. We're going to create a brand new Kahoot. Okay, and we'll hit create again. And now I'm just going to click this add question button. Okay, and clicking that. Now what you may not have seen in Kahoot before is this little link down here, import spreadsheet. This is what we're going to utilize to upload our chat GPT questions directly into um, Kahoot without having to do a cut and paste tedious process. So let's go ahead and click that and it gives us an option to download our template. All right, so let's go ahead and download that template and I'm going to use Google Sheets. You can do um, Google um, or Microsoft Office if you want. Um, and it does ultimately require that you put the files into XLSX format, but not everybody has access to Office. So I'm going to show you how you can use it doing a free Google um, Sheets process. Okay, so we now have our Kahoot template and now we're going to open it up in Google Sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Sheets and now I need to import that XLS um, file into Google Sheets. So I'm going to import, I'm going to upload, I'm going to browse to my recent files, here is my Kahoot um, template, and then I'm going to just open that right into um, my uh, Google document. Okay, so here we have our Google document, okay? What's important is the format here of how it wants the columns in the upload. This is what we're going to have to match up in order to bring over our Kahoot questions, okay? So let's go back to ChatGPT and I'm gonna show you how we just um, ask ChatGPT to put this in the format we need. So here is our questions, but they're not in the right format. What I've done and in the um, description below is a prompt that I have put together that mimics and asks ChatGPT to write my questions in the format Kahoot requires. So I'm just going to uh, bring that over from the description below. Okay, and here's how I have it structured. 
Write five Kahoot questions again regarding early River Valley situ um, civilizations. You could change this, of course, to whatever topic you would like to do. Use this CSV format, which means comma delimited, and then I just told it exactly what the column order should be. I asked it to put the commas in. Um, and a couple of other stuff so that it will actually generate now that content in the format that Kahoot requires for upload. So you're going to see it's going to come out a little bit differently now. It's coming out with uh, um, the questions and the commas and the, and the order in the same way that Kahoot needs it. So we're just going to bring this over, this, all five questions in one cut and paste. So I'm going to go ahead and do a control copy on this. And then I'm going to bring it over to um, my Kahoot template. Okay, so we're back to the Kahoot um, quiz template. What we're going to do is, uh, first of all, let's just delete this stuff that's down here. I think it'll mess stuff up. And then I'm going to control shift V my data over. Now this red down here means there might be something wrong with that question. It doesn't always turn out to be so, but keep an eye out for that. Usually it means your question's too long. Okay. Now I am going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and put it into text to columns. So you go to data, split text to columns, and bam, everything's all nice. So I'm looking to see if there's any errors. I got all of my correct answers here. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Um, so I think I'm ready to download this file. So I'm going to take file, download, and as a Microsoft Excel. Kahoot requires that you have uh, Microsoft Excel. Okay, so now going back to our Kahoot now, we're going to go ahead and upload these questions right into Kahoot. So we're going to go to Add Question, we're going to Import Spreadsheet, and now we're going to hit Select File. Okay, now we should, since we downloaded it, and I've tested several times, I'm going to use my latest and greatest one, Kahoot River Valley 3 and I'm going to open it up and it's going to do a validation first. All questions have imported successfully. So now I just hit this add question button and bam, now I have all five of those questions. Now in reality, if I was just doing this, it probably would have taken me about 10 to 15 minutes to generate a 20 question Kahoot quiz. Much faster than it would be to sit down and write it out for yourself from scratch. Okay, so let's go ahead now and wrap this up. Other ideas. There are lots of popular educational apps that allow content to be uploaded. Some of these are like Quizlet, Socrative, Quizzes, Mentimeter. Um, the procedure is basically the same. Um, identify the column order requirements from the template, okay, just like we did for Kahoot. Then modify the Kahoot prompt we just used to match the column requirements, okay. Copy the chat GPT output into your template. And don't forget to do that text to columns thing to format that data and then just import it into your app. It might take you a couple of tries to get the process worked out, but you should be able to do this for any of these educational apps that allow you to upload your questions into their application. Another reminder, you're in charge. In my mind, the AI acts like a remote teaching intern long on theory, knows all those Kahoot questions, knows all that information, but it doesn't have a lot of experience. Doesn't always know the best way to um, ask the question. Doesn't always maybe give the best um, wrong answers. Um, also, it may not be specific to exactly how you've taught your kids. You know what your kids connect with, what kind of questions they are. So your teacher intern can make mistakes, can get facts wrong, hallucinate. You've got to review your intern's work. What we learned. Um, ChatGTP allows us to create custom interactive quiz questions for specific learning targets. ChatGPT can then um, generate the quiz questions in CSV format for easy upload to, to platforms like Kahoot or Quizlet. Now I hope this is going to save you a lot of time in putting together your Kahoots and your Quizlets and other applications you might have. And if this is a value, um, please like, subscribe, and share, or comment. I really like to see some comments of things, other things that um, um, you'd like me to do. Thank you again for your time.